<laughs> um, how is voting moral? Great question. Right, I'm going to ask you three simple questions, and then we're going to talk about the hidden violence behind voting. And okay. Okay. In your day-to-day -day life, do you use violence to solve problems? Uh, no, and I'm not lying. You're not lying. <laughs> but I want to. Right, right, right. Okay, right. And the question is like, not have you ever, right? You know. Uh, all right, great. So the second question will be is, with the exception of self-defense of yourself and others, would you consider it wrong and immoral to initiate that violence to other people? With that exception, uh, no, but otherwise, yeah, I, I think that's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and self defense is not violence, that's self preservation. Right. You have a right, right to protect yourself and to help other people that, that can't, you know? Mm -hmm. Alright, so the third question would be is, would you also then consider it wrong and immoral to violently force your ideas on other people? Right. Great, okay, Very. perfect. Mm -hmm. So you just tell me in your day to day life you have a plurality of non violent solutions to be applied and used to solve your problems, yeah. right? And as a community of individual people here, we also want to solve problems too. But the state the government says that the only way we can solve problems in the community is through voting, right? So people vote to solve their problems, right? So with their ideas to voting, so in effect, they elect a politician, right? So that politician, his or her only job is to legislate those ideas into laws, right? And those laws of ideas are backed and enforced by the police at gunpoint, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, take marijuana laws, for example, you know, uh, smoking a plant, you know, you get, you get kidnapped, arrested, oh, yeah. engaged, yeah. prison for any which, any point you resist or refuse or don't agree with those ideas, it gets worse. It gets worse, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can get shot if you try to escape. Right? Maybe if you don't. Maybe you don't, right? Maybe you don't, right? Right, right. I mean, they're already taking away your freedoms, right? So that's so that's the hidden bias. The state only knows how to solve problems in one way, and yeah. that's their bias. Because it's even fun to more bias. Because at no point you say, I want to help the war, but I don't want to fund war. You know? You have yeah. no freedom of choice. You have to give me your property, you have to give me your money, you yeah. have to give me your taxes. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. if you did have a freedom of choice, then what is the right of you to pay the end of that, right? Right. Right? So that's the hidden bias. Right? So we want to help Right. Us, right? It separates us. Yeah. You know, all so let's rather than that, let's turn to each other and let's unite our time. You know, we serve values for equality, for nonviolence, for freedom. Yeah. And you know, once yeah. we push these values forward, they never go back. I don't know anyone today that advocates for slavery. Well, exactly. You know? yeah. Once we all become abolitionists, that term of meaning goes away. Mm -hmm. You know, once we all become freedom activists, that term of meaning will go away. Mm -hmm. You know, we can yeah. accomplish so much, like in one day, just talking about freedom. Yeah. Right? We can accomplish so much, and we don't have to wait you know, for four years. We don't have to wait for change. We can do it with ourselves. Yeah. You know, change starts with ourselves. Yeah. And it starts at home. It starts in our community. It doesn't start overseas. It doesn't start in a White House in DC. You know. Um, I don't know, so, so what do you think? You had some uh, thoughts earlier. No, I mean, I, I, I agree, and, and one of the biggest things that I think bothers me is the, uh, the limitation of choice, because it's, it's almost as if we don't even have a choice. We just have these choices that they have already chosen, and no matter what choice we pick, they're going to win. Right. I mean, it's, it's, so it's, it's even a facade at that point, like there's not really a choice, but then, like you're right, the, uh, the threat of violence, I mean, even the promise of violence, just because of the fact that we don't agree with what they're going to what they're saying, what they're doing, like the fact that uh, I have to pay all these taxes for things that I might not agree, but there's things that I do agree with that I want to get my money for. There's no real discrepancy in there, and I, I understand that to a degree. Not necessarily do I agree with it. I mean, I understand it. I just. Uh, I mean, we can still have security, but let's. But I mean, let, let's choose our own security, right? Yeah. Let's let's one let's choose a, uh, a security that we're not forced to accept their terms and conditions and forced to pay for that service. You yeah. Know? Um, and that's what happens when you have monopolized services. You know, you, you, the quality goes bad. Yeah. Well, in TSA, that how much money they put out and how many how many people have they stopped? Right. Zero. Yeah, they, yeah. They've never. They've not stopped a single person. And how much money is that? That's crazy. Yeah, but we are living in the 1984 book. You know. Even the people, yeah. we really are. We're, yeah. we're, we're, we're already there. You look at the National Defense Authorization Act, you can yeah. arrest anyone for any reason, for an indefinite period of time. No trial, just detain them. And that scared me. And just like, I, 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 I've not been uh, the best of person. So, what if, what if some of these little things I've done, they could just detain me for? Because uh, in their eyes, I've definitely not been the best person. Like, I, I'm very, very, very vocal about my opinions. And I, whether I fully agreed with certain things that I. Uh, Say Occupy did. I, I got back there because I, I liked a lot of what they were talking about, just the fact that they were talking, like what right. you were saying. Yeah. But I, I want the community to grow. <laughs> that's like the idea of what you just said, like we can grow in our community, and that strength is where we're going to have strength and progress. And I, I want that. <laughs> I want that so badly. Right. I don't want to be eight years old, so begging for freedom, so we're renting garages at birth. Yeah. Right. I mean, like, they were 
freedoms that are rich from us when we were born to a certain uh, system that is not. I'm gonna say like a quote that somebody, one of my friends that I met who rock by who's biking around the country, but he said, uh, "Our structure should never be our reason. Our reason should always be our structure." <laughs> like that, that's you can apply it to a lot of different things, and that's something I really wish more people applied to their daily life to possibly our government and relationships, friendships and stuff. Just don't mindlessly follow a system. Learn about it. Use reason. I mean, and, and, you know, if, if it is necessary, you, you have to speak out. You have to, you know, talk about it. Dissent is patriotic. That's another thing I like. I, I saw. So I'm, I'm pretty familiar with this. I just really wanted to hear what you said. I mean, you, you did the... Like, yeah. The hidden violence, the promise of violence, not even just like, the, the possibility of the promise of it. Right. That's the part that I, I mean, I, did, I don't think about it very much because I've not really necessarily experienced it from, uh, from the police, but right. I mean, it's there. You're absolutely right. It's, I mean, they've hidden it from us, right? It's mm -hmm. not like in the 60s when you saw the video flow to finish coming back from the wars, you know, in Vietnam. You don't see that anymore. No, no right? No. Uh, for a time, it was, uh, it was illegal to take photos of like, these people in the back yeah. um, in caskets. Uh, now, no, it's hard to take pictures of a cop that they're, you know, abusing yeah. uh, the services that they're They're providing. bending laws to make it make it so that you can't take that picture, like, or, or video, even. Right. Like that, they're trying to bend, use other laws that state you can't record somebody with uh, audio. Right. So that you can't get the video of them doing something uh, possibly negative or very negative. I mean, it's... That's not okay. I mean, they shouldn't have. They shouldn't be worried about what we're watching them doing. They should be doing it right. Uh, have violence. I mean, it's just—it's not you, necessary. But you look at the system. You look at the matrix. It was designed. Yeah. You know, you can't fix it. It's no. not designed. Right. The only yeah. thing you can do. I mean, you can't do it by by fighting the state. They're really good with violence. They want you to do violence. <laughs> they want you to say smash the state. They right. want you to go protest. Yeah. The they want you to send the capital stuff so they can get arrested. You know. Mm -hmm. I was here in Canada Plaza too mm -hmm. on the first week when I yeah. came here. You know, I slept yeah. out there for the first couple of days too. So I realized like this is not the way to go about it. I mean, I'll, I mean. Another way to do about it is like not to, it's kind of like uh, getting angry at your parents, you know, but to do that to the state acknowledges that they're your parents. But we could do this by just ostracizing them. We can right. do this by realizing it's all in our heads. You can't show me the state. There's, is this a white building in, in D.C.? Now yeah. you, can't, you, you can't show me your friends and family without showing me individual people, right? Only right. people exist, right? So really what this is about is just really just to talk to each other, right? Turn away from the state and let's talk to each other in our own way. Put you know? the human back in it. Right. This is a freedom movement that can take place anywhere. You don't need permits. You don't need camping gear. You don't need marching, yeah. protests. I lost know? all my camping. Yeah, yeah, yeah you don't, you don't, I know, right? They, they do it in the middle of the night. It's like the little tent offensive when everybody's in New Britain celebrating on Halloween. You know? Yeah, it's like the National Defense I was so <laughs> over New Year's. You know? Yeah. Uh, so that's what I mean. Yeah. And this can take place anywhere uh, at the privacy of your own home. At I don't, you know, at a cafe, at a, at a diner. Um, Is it even it? privacy anymore if they can do that? I know, right? Yeah. But that's one thing they can never stop. They can't stop it from just simply talking to each other. And that's that's where we need to go. And that's where a lot of power is. Right. Not this whole like, yelling at each other. Not this whole. No, that's, that's not going to do anything. I mean, if it was going to work. If what's, if what's going to happen? What would have happened in the '60s? It would have happened in the hippie movement. Yeah. Exactly. Else divided the fall. Right. Yeah. yeah. Even if you're taking it to a political statement that was made about politics, but it's true about people too. Yeah. Yeah. If they can divide us and create racism and turn us against each other, that. they have control. They pitted us. They, they, they separate us so that we won't unite. Right. Now right. we vote against each other. Yeah. No? Now we hate you're each other because you're a Republican. Right. I hate you. Yeah. So. You know. That's now, now the only thing we're, we're, we're about now is it's like you know the only thing that's protecting you from me are laws. Yeah. If that's you, the only we reason. We have no friendship. There's no basis, right? You know, there's no foundation for them. You yeah. know, it's all farce. You know, that's what they're trying to tell us. You have to spy on your neighbors for reporting them. They're not paying attention. They're doing something suspicious. Yeah. yeah. Even like Don't even talk you should services. be mad at them. Right. Yeah. Even social services, it's like you have to pay into taxes in order for the poor to get the social services that they need. And it used to be that like there weren't corporations like Walmart, there were small businesses. And if you were poor and, and your neighbors knew about it, your butcher might cut you a little extra meat. Your yeah. grocer might give you an well, extra charity, bundle you of, you know, oranges yeah. or something. Right. They would help you out because they knew you were struggling, but you were still working. You were still trying to do your part, you know? And now you have to pay into a system that pays it out to people who are abusing it and exploiting it, and it's not falling into the hands of the people who actually need the no help. Right. And people, they're, they're they're a number. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That, you know? And it's sickening. I can't remember what uh what person said it. It was it was early in our country or maybe just before. I, I just I can't quite remember who said it. But uh basically they had they didn't feel that there was a need for taxes or, or at least not the level that we had it at then that point, which is of course much smaller than now. Mm -hmm. 
they felt that charity, goodwill, you know, pro people who had profit would help the community. Right. You know, they would, they would, they would have that goodwill for the community that they're a part of. You know, so it wouldn't be necessary to have some of these. I don't know some of these situations that we have now, and so it's just that that thing really stuck with me. Is that back then they believed that charity and people giving to other people who needed it was going to happen, and now people are like. That's what it was founded People said, hey, the government's going to take care of it. It's like, don't worry about it. Nobody worries about it anymore, right? But yeah. people always said, but what about the poor? Everybody really care about the poor. Yeah. Um, and like with this Monroe Park project I yeah, was telling yeah, yeah. you about, everybody, every one right. that I've spoken to, their first response is, <coughs> get rid of the homeless people. Get rid of the homeless people. Where do you send them? Where are they? Well, you can get rid of them. Go ahead. Go grab them. You want to get rid of the homeless people? Go pick one up and go and take them home. Take them, them home. Right? Yeah, yeah, right? Well, you want to get like, rid of the homeless people. Where are they supposed to what go? What they really mean is they want someone else to take care of them, to get rid of them. What exactly. they mean is they want the police to go out there. You know? Don't be a coward. If you want to do yeah. that to somebody, do it yourself. You don't yeah. advocate for someone else to do it. You don't know that person's situation. You don't know where they've come from, or maybe they've lost their job. Maybe the bank took their home. Right. That maybe they're in that situation because it's not their fault. Maybe they're not a drug. Maybe they're not a drug addict. You, know, you have these social preconceptions of what these people are going through. So you think, oh, that person's a bum. Oh, they're shooting a heroin. Oh, they're doing this, and that's why they're homeless. Right. But that's not all the time it takes, but that's what we think because it's what we've been bred to think. Right. And I hate it. I I'm a sociology major. Oh, no, that's way. great. No, that's <laughs> no I, I want to get back to the time where, like, acts of kindness with, like, what the investment you gave mm -hmm. your community. That's your safety net, you know? That's the stock market I invest in, you know? Yeah. And people give when they can, you know? Yeah. Um, and that, that's where I want to go again. That's where, that's where I want to go with pushing all these families together. You know, yeah. families never go back. You know, you, you see, like, uh, Rush Limbaugh, for example. You know, last year he said something sexist. Ten years ago, maybe he could have got away with it. But today, it's no longer. Right? Yeah. All these Good. supporters pulling out. You know, look at Chick-fil-A, you know? Uh, everybody pulling out. They just out. put out a message um, that they have an anti-discrimination within their, com their company now because it created so much havoc that they lost business from it. Right. People uh, wouldn't right. go there anymore. And we didn't need legislation for that. We don't need guns. We didn't need laws. We didn't need politicians. I mean, they'll try to take the credit in the end. But the thing is, they, it was because yeah. everybody opted out. Because we socially ostracized. They put that in there. We didn't make them put it in there, but well, we did. Right. We did make them do it. So right. I mean, Out of pressure. I mean, yeah. he might say one thing, but I'm, I'm not going to believe any you know made-up story he's going to make up for yeah. his reason for doing it. I'd rather talk to his financial advisor. Listen, <laughs> this is not going good for us. You know? Yeah. You're Even if do we don't something. believe this, we're going to have to pretend that we do It's still so we're declining. Make our money. It's not a non-profit organization. It's a business. They need to yeah. make profit. Profit's going down. And yeah, profit's going to go down if you have bad balance. And that's a good thing. Well, and you know why. Right. Yeah, so I mean, and that's and that's where we need to go. I mean, business can now be a very important part of consumerism. It's never been that in, in the in the past. You know, businesses yeah. are finally taking like uh, Starbucks saying, "Hey, you should be able to marry who, what, regardless of your." Yeah, name. I don't right? care. I don't yeah. care. Right? It was J.C. Penney that uh, got. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I was big on that. I yes. was very happy. I yeah. Was like, yes. And they had like the yeah. one million moms who was like. No, down with Jason. <laughs> and then uh, they uh, they disappeared. They they decided to disband their Facebook page. Right. If, if I remember correctly, that happened. Because they they showed the same sex couples in advertisements. Was that what happened? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's all we have to do. If we're united, we don't need a politician or laws or anything. So everybody, can, all of us can do. All of us can opt out. You know, yeah. any business want to come up with their like their sexist agents or their you know uh, homophobic any of those messages and they're yeah. like, so go for it, or you'll go bankrupt in a week. That's yeah. right. You know that. Yeah. We, yeah. and, and that's that's for, and, and this this is the best self defense for anyone, right? Um, this is the best self defense against anyone would be aggressive, right? If you want to aggress against any member of your of our community, where are you going to go? No one's going to house you, clean you, clothe you. You know, service provider companies here are going to disconnect from you. They'll pay you 150 dollars to disconnect from you. You know, yeah. no electricity. No, we don't have to have that. That's yeah. voluntary, right? These are voluntary service, voluntary interactions, right? right? So, I mean, we, we need to start somewhere. You know. It, well, from the ground up. From the ground like, up, from the roots, right? Um, don't have this whole politician thing where every single you, you year you're fighting a high road, you're just turning the wheat. It starts with me us. and him right. and him and her. It starts right here right. with the people, with like-minded yeah. ideas and an open mind. Exactly. That's where it and starts. Mary, you're correct. thinking and everything. Like, I mean, I, I, I first thing I woke up, I liked your boots. I didn't, I didn't try and beat you and take them because right. I, I just like them. Sure, I might like them. <laughs> oh, my boots! Oh. Yeah. Sure, I like them. And I, I might want a pair, but you know they're yours, and I wouldn't want to so take them have because. Trade, you know, yeah. Yeah. I mean, what would happen to me? And like you said, trade. Yeah. Right. I mean, that, that, that removes violence. It's like you know what? I'm going to create something cool. Would you trade?
trade me. I said, you know what? Yeah, let's trade. I want that more than I want my boots. You want my boots more than you want whatever it's And, and I'm, I'm a nurse, and I've been uh, I've just got back into pre-med program and yeah. done, try to apply for med school and be a doctor. And that would be my trade. And that would be something like, I'm not doing it for the profit. I want to pay off my loans. As soon as I've done that, I'm going to travel and probably try to do the doctor to that borders or something akin yeah, to that, yeah, where yeah, I just yeah. go somewhere. Oh, that's and fantastic. Yeah, there's a, a bunch of doctor's offices I've worked at here because I've been doing it for years. Um, that they said that they don't have a place to put some of their medicines that are about to expire. Like, they get samples. Right. And when they expire, these medicines are still... 95, 90% of them are still good and usable, and they, their efficiency slowly lowers, but they're still good, and it's better than no medicine. Yeah, depending on what it is, yeah, but it's better than no medicine, and they, they're like... Give it to the uninsured. Why not give it to the people they, who there's can't not, afford it? There are, there are programs that'll do that, but most of the doctors I've talked to don't do it. They're like, I don't know, we throw it away. I'm like, don't, don't. And give it to a church. It. Give it to... Find, find a group. Go look. Look for They're it. They're throwing right it away, and where is it going? All these chemicals are going into the ground. They're... You know? Yeah, into our water tables. So you get rid of the system, you get rid of corporations. Corporations, it's just, a, it's just a legislation that, that limits personal liability. That's yeah. all it is. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, hey, I fucked up, but I don't have to pay this much because, you know, hey, I'm a corporation. Okay, I'm not going to lose my job. I'm not going to lose my house. I'm not going to mm -hmm. go to jail. You guys are going to pay for it. Employees are going to pay for it because yeah. I just have to lower your salaries and just raise consumer prices. We pay for the causes because of government policy intervention yeah. with the free market. You know? right. It's not even a free market. It's a mutation. It's not. It, exactly. It's, it's going beyond that. It's grown past Yeah. It. So we have a freedom gathering you should come join us uh, I'll give you one already you got I got it I'm coming if I can make it yeah so we were having a potluck this is next yeah. Saturday it's less than five minute bike ride from here uh, so it's mostly so potluck philosophical discussions talk about these yeah. ideas and then an after party uh, so it's party liberation from your video too uh, have you heard fire of them? I have you yeah. have yeah, 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 it's a good time my friend Alberto he's uh, Mrs. Strings great musician he uh, he's studying here at uh, BC too studying music so so it's, it's already growing and it's getting bigger and bigger. Um, yeah, that's what needs so to happen. So all the people happen. walking around asking you to sign up to vote, you're saying they're glaring. Well, I like, talk, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I have a conversation. They're like, oh, fuck, but I don't listen. I'm not saying quit your job. No. I'm not saying that at all. Yeah. You know, the first thing you can do is just let go of voting and then turn away from the state. <laughs> and let's find solutions, right? And yeah. in the end, when you're ready, when you're on your own for consciousness, you know, quit the state. But yeah. this, is, this, is, this is on your own progress. This is on right. your own when you're ready to do When that. you're ready, when you feel comfortable, yeah. when you There's know. There's no pressure. This is revolution of convenience. There's no set in time of day. When you're ready to talk about this. I, know. I have to say, I mean, I, I've always uh, talked down about the whole voting thing. Just, and so I've always voted for Christopher Walken. <laughs> for every position ever. Just to, just, you know, because it's, it's about the same. So that's how I feel about it. I voted for humanity. My last Okay. Vote. No, I have to do that. Come on. That's what I voted for because, you know, no one person can be the head of everyone. No one has all the answers. The population is too dense. No one has all the answers. Exactly. No one. If we want to get all the answers, we have to do this together. I mean, just have a foundation of values and not violence. And that's the foundation of communication. Yeah, that's really good. And yeah. we have that. We have this lovely language that we're using for. Some people might not know about it, but you know. I'm really excited. I got the new card. Oh, good, good, yeah. yeah. And this is Liberate RBA. So it's already spread from the yeah. Dutchman. It's uh, Liberate Rochester, New York, Liberate Newcastle, Delaware, Liberate Rally, North Carolina, awesome. uh, Liberate Bamaji in Minnesota. So it's it's spreading. It's, uh, Share it with your friends. Good. Bring yeah. a group yeah. with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll try to. I have uh, five roommates, and uh, we're like our own little colony. <laughs> Yeah, but that's try. <laughs> Word of mouth is how messages start. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, and, and I have definitely talked to quite a few people during Occupy because of Occupy after, and not even because of all of that, but just I really enjoyed the community that happened there. Aside from the whole beautiful. reason we were there, it was just it was really nice. Just, they set you know, up a library. To know they had doctors that, that were there. Still they had have education. That. It was I, right? beautiful. It's yeah. proof that we can have that. It's yeah. proof we can have that. And they didn't want that. That's right. why they shut it down the way right. they did. That's why yeah. the Nowell Walk got raided. They wiped Hard. it out in one right. night. You know? That's why you can't make a revolution found in Because so right. the government will stop you. Sit on the Capitol steps. You know, like the 30 people did. No, they're all right. They want you to protest. They want you to think that that's going to change something. But it's not. It's not. That contains you in one place where they can easily round you up. Right, like it was yeah, in D.C. Just, just, just run everybody in the park. Like, uh, and it needs to be something that's more... Uh, 
be something that, that doesn't have to have that thread of like remove an idea. Remove the taboo from it. You know, right. Well, that, like, get, get rid of the... Like, get, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do actually. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was? Okay. They're treating it as if every single person is having like a life or death procedure yeah. for themselves. But they've, they've been operating the, these clinics for X amount of years with no problems you know, whatsoever. And now they're telling women, you don't have the right to choose your clinic. You don't have the right to choose your doctor. You need to go to one of our hospitals. You need to go here to get your procedure done or whatnot. We're not saying that you can't have an abortion, but you can't have an abortion here. You have to have it here. You know what I'm saying? And they're also, uh, you can't terminate one of our possible future subservient people. Soldiers. I, that. One of our soldiers. Like, I just, that, no, yeah, yeah, no, that's a part of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but one of the one of the things that really disturbed me, and I, I can't remember what state it was, but they passed a law saying that um, life begins before conception. It actually begins at your last uh, actual menstruation cycle. Are you kidding me? Really? Like, how does that... Is there science behind that? No. There's there's absolutely no science behind that. That's silly. That's completely silly. Right, and the whole point about it is really just value human life. Right? Yes. I mean, people have abortions. I mean, there's no... In the I can imagine that. someone actually enjoying having to go to that. Right? No, and I, um, I know people. But the thing is, like, where, where are the other options? And there's no free market. It's like, hey, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of the child. Hey, you know, to have the child, you know, here's some money. There's no options for it. You know? um, and right? outside of cases of rape, most of those women would not choose their own abortion if they felt that they could take care of that child. Right. If they had the support of a community, if they had the support of a father or a family, yeah. they probably wouldn't choose that decision. Right. They'd be have able, values. They'd be able to have the baby and know that they have support to make sure that child had the best life possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if these people in the community and, and themselves had this, like, belief that they could do it, like you just said, with all, all that support. I mean, that's where it comes from, because they don't even believe in the idea of family at some point. It's like, you get so jaded and so turned off on the idea, because you're not really, like, supporting it. You're supporting, again, the separation, money, like, isolation, just get you away from it. But be, be superficially connected, but truly isolated. And if we were free, and we were non-violent, and we were supportive of people in the community, we wouldn't have to worry about things like rape. Men wouldn't rape a woman because they say, I value your freedom. I'm not going to invade your body or your personal space. People finally learn how to talk to hey, you want to go on a date? I think you're beautiful. Can I take you out to lunch, you know? And the woman might not be like, ew, screw you. They might be like, oh, you know, I'm not really interested in that. But it was really nice to meet you. We can totally be friends. We can Hang out. Well, exactly. We can hey, have a I have connection. a friend here who might be interested, you know? I don't know. Just... Exactly. Exactly. The hatred doesn't have to be there. Like, I was just walking through after I got talking to I'm talking through, I walked through the library area, and this girl stopped right in front of me in the middle of the doorway and starts talking to her friend right beside her. And I said, Excuse me. And she's just talking, talking to her. And I said, Excuse me. And she wasn't moving. So I put my hand on her shoulder and I moved past her. And she's like, You have to touch me. I stopped to talk. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, Whoa, why do you have to be rude to me? I just wanted to walk past you. And she's going off. And I'm like, Why is that your reaction to me? You know? I, I feel good. like, again, with the mind of the children, I think a lot of the stuff is, you know, children are sponges and nerves, right? And they, a lot of the stuff they pick up, you know, it's passive yeah. aggressive behavior. They're taught the language of like hate and anger, you know? Uh, you have to go to war if you want to be a man, you know? They, they, they yeah. teach them this language. It's yeah. love and compassion and understanding and yeah. patience, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's kind of what we kind of have to, to talk about. You know, that's kind of like the values that we have to keep pushing forward, you know? Yeah. It's not just like the state violence again. It's like the violence we do to each other. Well, the exactly. Other. Because of all, like, like you were saying, that, you know, we're so far from each other that, like, you might even rationalize it yourself, you know, I don't know, or, you know, what if she's a bad person, maybe she deserves this, or, or maybe he deserves this, or, or I don't know them, they, they don't matter to me, they're not a part of my world, Right. they don't matter, they're not even a human in my eyes, because they literally don't matter, that's horrible, that's that's just horrible when you get that detached from society and other people from humanity, humanity, from that, that detached from humanity, uh, it's so, it's so sad. And to think that the state values in life, if it's this, this United States alone has murdered 30 to 50 million since the end of World War II. You can't say that they value human life. No, what makes you think they're going to value the environment? What makes you think they're going to value children or your health? You know, um, it's, it's a farce. This is another distraction. The first yeah. president says, you know, I'll, no, I'll balance the bullets, you know, Rami. You know, 2040, yeah, when you're out of office. Yeah. When you're no longer in there, you know, you, yeah. punt the, you, know, you punt it off to the next person yeah. to take care of it, you know? You punt off the, uh, the cost of the next generation. You enslave, like we were talking earlier. You enslave the next generation. You enslave through debt. Yeah. 
just it, it's it's another form of slavery. It's like an indentured servant for right. schools. Yeah. And it's a hive mind that they're creating for society. You know, you decide that you're you decide, you know what? I don't really like bathing too much. I don't think I'm gonna bathe. I don't think I'm gonna shave my armpits. I don't think I'm gonna shave my legs. You know, I think I'm just gonna exist naturally. And then you're rejected by society. Oh, you know, I don't want to be around you. You're not. You're not socially acceptable. I'm not yeah. going to be around you, but there's nothing wrong with that. No, right. It's perfectly natural. And if it I, makes that person, that individual happy, you'd be surprised how they should I be shower. able to. <laughs> I, mean, I, I feel like I, I you know, I, I like you know, smelling some of the old spice stuff I, I've used, but I also I really enjoy my own smell. You know, when I'm really sweaty, it's very disgusting. How yeah. rinse. Yeah, right. that's about it. These are your, I mean, these are a firma. You're not supposed yes. to them up. Well, and, and they have a lot to do with our interactions with people. You know, we're right. blocking these things, and you know, I'm not necessarily saying that's just a normal relationship. But there is, I mean, some of them play into just normal interactions, like you know, happiness, fear, those things. You can tell with some of these parents, and we're hiding all that under some of these other things. And, to make us be more, socially right. acceptable that would yeah. normally make us connect. Right. And then, well, that's part because of the media. Right. Right. A lot of time, you know, first they play it up, you know, you have yeah. to go, you have to be you know, conscious. And, you know, that's, I mean, I understand that our business is dedicated to it because that's what's popular. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, but right now, forget the media. Be our own media. <laughs> yeah. Create our own media. Bro. Create our own media. Bro. Create our own yeah. media. Create our own letters and videos. Yeah. yeah. Do, do something else. Smoke signal. Yeah, something. Punk, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, no, that, I'm, so, I'm so glad. Uh, I'm so glad we met. I'm so glad. This is my friend Asia. Yeah. I hope to see you all at the uh, meeting. Absolutely, I'm going to be here pretty much every day. Uh, for the rest I of see that you out here all the time. <laughs> when I'm out here. No, I commend you. It must be taxing to say the same things. No, over no, 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 no. It's not. It's not. I'll, I'll when talk you have to a good, any, rewarding. I'll talk to anyone who wants to listen. Uh, I mean, like you think it's like it's not just for me anymore. It's, it's for my right. friends. It's for my family. My brother's at New Hampshire, uh, New Hampshire University right now, so I can't wait until he finally becomes dehumanized because he wants to experiment for, with some drugs, right? right? I can't phantom for that moment to finally happen because all I did here is just you know voted and went into a pool, you know, it's like thinking one day it's going to change, you know? Yeah. I, I can't wait for that. I mean, my grand, great great grandparents are going to have a great life when all these things <laughs> finally come to fruition and there's a great you know system. You know. I'm afraid right. to even yeah. have children these days, honestly, because I don't want to breed them into the system. Yeah. I don't want yeah. to procreate within the system. So, here, why is voting important? Great question. <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask you three simple questions, and we're going to talk about the hidden violence behind voting. That's the speech. I don't suppose we're going to make you a great fan of us. Oh, well, let's take here. We have a Freedom Gathering next Saturday, and uh, check out our website. Everything's like, well, I'm going to be here pretty much every day. I've been here pretty much every day. The basic point is that if it's wrong and immoral, it's about the divorce rate. I was voting in Thank you. It was a nice conversation. That's really it. Oh, well, I'm not here to convince you. Just come to no, yeah. talk about him. That, that, that makes sense. I would just ask, like, what else are you going to do? Oh, right? perfect. Great. Yeah. Turn away from the state. Turn away from politicians. Turn away from all that stuff. Let's turn to change doesn't start in a White House in D.C. It doesn't start overseas. It starts with ourselves first. You know? We can unite our people and community. We have the values for, uh, I mean, for equality, for nonviolence, for freedom. So, like, anarchy? Yeah. Uh, rules without rulers. You can have a voluntary society without your yeah. I would like to talk to you about that more. Yeah, absolutely. Take care. All right.